Bye, Barbie. Bye. Hello and welcome to Dumb Phones UK. My name is Joseph and I look at dumb or dumber phones on the UK market. I think we should just dig straight in. This is the HMD Barbie phone. Now, as we know, this is a reskin of the Nokia 2660 device. In the UK, it's going to be running an S30 Plus operating system, which means it's not Android based. It can't run WhatsApp. It can't do Android Auto. Just to answer all those questions that I know I'm going to get below. But I'm really excited to hop into this. It's not the usual sort of phone I'd buy. I do definitely think there's a market out there for them. So let's have a look. Before I hop in, please do like, please do subscribe. It helps me, it helps you, it helps the channel. It means I can bring more phones to you lovely people and even potentially start giving them away because I've got quite a few now and I'm not sure people in my life are that happy that I've got so many phones. HMD Barbie phone, a real phone without the distractions. But let's have a little look. So we've got beach over browsing, reconnecting with real life, Barbie through and through. So by the Barbie style, and then you've got own your unique. So this is with stickers and crystals and different covers. Then we have some information on the phone itself at the bottom here, which is, you know, interesting. We can see there it has 1,415 milliamps battery, 4G. It has a camera with a flash, speaker, torch, Bluetooth. MP3 player, SD card slot, USB Type-C charging, and then games, including Snape. Ooh, I like that. Little magnetic tab down there. We open that up. And we have a lovely looking box. They've done a great job on this. And then we have it, we have our beads, which we can connect to the phone as like a charm, I guess. We have our phone itself and we have the Barbie HMD cases. We'll go into the cases in a second. I am gonna take out the phone itself. And as you can see, it's got a mirrored front. You can see me there looking at the mirrored front. That feels very strange to me. The phone itself is very light, but I'm pretty confident it won't have the battery or anything in yet. So just looking around the device quickly, we've got an aux, that's a big plus. We also have our USB-C type charging. We have our flash and we have our camera. We have the <laughs> mirrored front screen. We have our volume controls here. I'm unsure what this button does. So we'll find that out together. And then we have our case at the back. And my assumption is this is where you take the case off. And just like that, the case comes off. You can see that it's got little palm trees and Barbie logos and hearts. It shows attention to detail, which is quite nice. What we're going to do is we're going to take out this layer. We have a screen cleaner that comes with the package as standard. I just bought the standard Barbie package. We have some lovely little lucky charms. A roller skate, a palm tree, a Barbie heart, a fun pair of sunglasses, have an ice cream cone as well. So they are our Barbie charms that have come with the device as well. They're all really sweet. It's quite a nice little thing. Made out of this rubber material. You can see that, that bends there when I do that. So it's not gonna damage your phone. Then in the box, we also have our USB-C charging cable. Also, we have our battery within here. We'll come onto the battery in one sec because I'm just going to cover off the stickers that they provided to us as well. So we have our list of Barbie stickers here, loads of Barbie related stickers, gems as well that we can stick on our device. This is a fun phone, isn't it? And then we also have our quick guide with the HMD Barbie device. And we are going to pop the battery into the device now. Let me open this up. And again, it's a lovely pink color. They've really gone with a pink theme, which makes complete sense. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the back off this device like so. I'm gonna pop my SIM card in. We have our SIM card to pop in. And as you can see in this device, there are two SIM card slots and there's also an SD card slot as well. Something that a lot of the new phones don't offer. So that's a nice feature. My SIM card into number one. And then I'm gonna find my battery, line up the pins. Pins here, pins here. And I'm going to pop this in. Pop the original case on. We're going to go with the original to start with. 
click that back on. This device is now currently charging and one thing I've noticed is there is a heads up display here that shows that it's charging as well which I really like so we're going to try and turn on this device. Oh there's another one thing that I want to show you as well just very quickly. Can you see on behind the numbers it's got again little Barbie based thing just fun little quirky sort of flamingo palm tree heart just nice things behind the buttons there as well. So let's try and turn this device on now. Let's get you set up here. Uh, my language is English. And do I want to set the date and time? Of course I do. It's 24 hour clock and auto update. That's perfect for me. I'm happy with that. Accessibility mode increases the icons on the screen. That's a nice thing that they've added. Don't want that on. I'm going to leave that off, which is this button just here. On is the middle button. So I'm going to click here. My basic info. OK, important information. Ah, OK, nice. And then Thank you for choosing your HMD Barbie phone. You accept the policy, so I can obviously choose to read that policy. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to come out and I'm going to continue. And we can also, it's just given us some information on the, reducing our battery aging. And again, all good. So do I want to set parental controls? That's a really good thing for a device like this. I think talking about parental controls is an important thing that's coming up more and more in the UK. I'm not going to set this, so I'm not going to set them now, but that is something we can do later. And we can see that it's got the right time, the right date. And it says, I have a missed call from Ken. Oh, that is a very cute. I've thought about an awful lot with this device. I'm going to click OK. And it's asked me, do I want to add Ken to my contacts? Yeah, why not? We are now into the phone. So just to sort of summarize and go through stuff, I'm using the keypad to navigate. It's obviously got potentially a T9 keyboard there. I'm also just going to go through the other buttons as well while we're here. So what I'm clicking is the hash button here. I'm holding down the hash button, I should say. So when I hold it first time, sets it to silent, hold it again, sets it to vibrate, hold it again, we're back to normal. With this one, this locks the device, so I'm just holding it. So the star, asterisk. Unlock. Okay, we're unlocked, we're back in. In the UK, this is a rebranded Nokia 2660, 2660, so that's what they've done. I believe a US version is due for release later, and the US version is gonna be a slightly different phone. So the operating system that this uses is an S30 Plus operating system. I've heard rumors that the US version is gonna be a Kai OS operating system. But again, I brought it from the UK. I'm based in the UK, it makes sense for me here. So we have our call history here. We have our contacts and we have our gallery. I've not taken any snaps there. We have our internet, which we'll come onto in a sec. We have messaging, cute little Ken and Barbie based icon within there, that's lovely. It feels like, even though the phone is, you know, slightly, slightly gimmicky, I say slightly gimmicky with a bright pink phone and a mirrored front, but even though the phone is slightly gimmicky, it feels like they've put a lot of thought into the OS, into the buttons as well. We have our camera, we have our alarm clock, music, calendar, radio, torch, calculator, Malibu snake settings and videos, files, voice recorder, everything that you would expect to find on here, right? There's a Barbie meditation app as well. So it's got some nice stuff on here. I'm gonna hop into things that I think you're gonna find interesting. So the internet is one of those things. And within there, I'm gonna accept the T's and C's and we're just gonna to go to Google. And as ever with my Google, let's see whether T9 works. Oh, it doesn't look like T9 to me. So let's try. Um, no, as you can see, this is not a T9 keyboard. It doesn't feel like there's a way that I can get into T9. Search with Google and I'm going to go to BBC Sport. So again, I'm just clicking through. Wee. Wee. Okay. And it's connecting and we can go down and look at fixtures on BBC Sport. And again, we're using Opera Mini here. We know that it's not going to be the best user experience, but it is possible to check the football score if that's something you want to do. So I'm going through to the scores here and we can see that 
doesn't really it's not sort of rendering that well but you can see that montenegro nil wales two you can kind of see on that device i'm sure i'm one of the only people to have checked the football scores on a barbie phone but i just wanted to show you that it is able to load basic web pages it's doing a pretty good job to be honest so i'm pretty happy with that the other thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take some photos for you lovely people i'm going to take a photo and now I'm going to hop into the gallery so I can see that photo that I've taken. If you needed this to sort of point and shoot and take a really quick photo, then I'd argue that it's suitable for that. We don't expect this phone to be the best quality, right? The other thing I want to do as well on the camera is I want to just see whether there's other functions. So it looks like I can take a video. Yep, yeah, I can take a video. So we're taking a video at the moment. I'm going to grab my cat s22 flip and pop that in there what i'm going to try and do is i am going to try and export this from this device and pop it in the video we'll see if that's possible so i'm taking a video at the moment i'm going to grab my cat s22 flip and pop that in there what i'm going to try and do is i am going to try and export this from this device and pop it in the video we'll see if that's possible you can see that that video worked i mean the playback again audio playback wasn't great but it was possible and then you can hop in and you can change the effects and the settings normal effect again they're not great effects when you compare it to modern day devices but that's okay this isn't designed to be like our iphones or our samsung's or our google's this is very much designed to be something different i'm going to call this device and we're going to see how that works so you can see that I have missed a call you can see that on here I'm gonna send myself a text whether that displays on the front screen as well you can see that I've got a new message I can't go into that message from this screen there's nothing I can do it's not a touch screen it's not usable but you can see there is a message waiting if I hop in you can see that it says I have one new message I'm gonna read that message and it's from Joseph, and it says, Hi, Barbie. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be typing that. So I'm going to send this message. So by calling this device, we're going to see what it does. So opening it answers the call. I can put the call on speakerphone or I can mute the call and we're going to see whether closing the phone hangs it up. Yes it does, so we have the real dream treat lovely part of a flip phone. We're going to look at the backs now just to see what we have available to us as different options. So we have a slightly sort of psychedelic based back and we have one more back available to us as well which is a Barbie branded back as well. All say HMD all have the little gap for the speaker. All of them have the fun sort of embossing inside them. So the phone itself feels a little bit flimsy. You can flip it and close it. Although arguably I am comparing it to the Cat S22 Flip which is an absolute unit in terms of a device. I mean look at them side by side. The Barbie phone is smaller and the Cat dwarfs this device as we would expect it to. The cat itself, when I'm opening, flipping him closed, he's got a real heft to him. Whereas the Barbie phone, much lighter, which actually, arguably, some people are gonna much prefer. So that's not necessarily a negative, it's just something to take into account. I just say it's done with a really fun twist. Something that might make people a bit more excited to use a dumber phone. I know that it can still access the internet, but I do think that's something really nice about this device, even though it is quite simple. So there we have it. That was the Barbie HMD phone. I'm going to use this for a bit longer. I'm going to use this. I'm going <laughs> so that I can give you a review on how it actually works. It's not going to be dissimilar to the Nokia that I used for a while because that's what it is. 
it's an HMD Nokia, it's reskinned as I've discussed, but there's something quite fun about it and it's definitely going to appeal to certain people. So if you're looking to reduce your phone time, if you're looking for something that's going to make you stand out, then this could well be the device for you. I believe I got a discount code. I think it cost me around £87, something like that, maybe 85 So it's not the most expensive device and obviously that means that it potentially feels a little bit flimsy. If you did enjoy the video, please like, please subscribe. It really helps me, it helps you, it helps the channel, it helps everyone. But I really enjoyed looking at this device and uh, it, it, I'm, not, I'm not a big Barbie fan, but I've got a real soft spot for this. Any questions, pop them below and I'll try and answer them. Bye Barbie, I'm coming to the beach now.